Hello everyone, this is Arkady from JOT5. Today we're going to do a video where we will take off uh, all the panels of the 6 ton GT5600 to show you how it looks inside and see what we got here. It's a very common questions we get uh, about these machines. So stay tuned and hit that uh, like and subscribe button. First, let's open what we can without taking out a wrench. Over here, we have our battery compartment with the battery kill switch and the fuel side glass. Here is our engine compartment. Here's our uh, double uh, deuce and pump. One is a piston and one is a gear. Here we have our EPA4 certified uh, Yanmar 4TNV98C engine. Our air filter, and then this is our radiator and the oil cooler. Since this machine is equipped with the AC, here you can find our AC motor. That's it for the engine compartment. Next, we'll take out the wrench and take off some panels. First one is gonna be our floor panel inside the cab. To get to the floor panel, first we'll take out the floor mat. Next, we will unscrew a couple of bolts uh, and we'll also will take off the floor pedals in order for the ease of lifting the floor panel. We took off the foot pedals. Now we have access for the floor plate. We'll start working on the bolts right here. Underneath the floor plate, we have our multi-way valve and the foot pedal control valve. Here's a close-up. Now we're going to take off that plate. From here, we can get access to our soil joint and the cap rotation motor and additional uh, solenoid valves. Uh, we will, uh, after this, go outside and take off the panels uh, behind the cap to get a closer look on the rotation motor. Now we're going to take off the lids over here to get a closer look at the rotation motor. We took off the panels here. That's a closer look at our rotation motor. It was raining recently, so there's a little bit of water. But also here we have our um, oil stick, dipstick. Yep, looks good.
here we can find our engine coolant uh, overflow bottle. And you can see that our level is perfect. And then just some hoses going into our hydraulic tank. Now we're going to take off the walking water cover to take a look inside. Here's how our walking waters look like. The main hoses have a wire protector around them. And as you see, all the hoses are tucked neatly inside, so nothing is sticking out. As you see, uh, GT5600 six-ton excavator has uh, great access to all the main uh, components. If you're going to have any more questions about this machine or any other machines like excavators, skid steers, wheel loaders, rock crashers, uh, ground compactor, you name it, uh, please visit joegify.com or give uh, us a call. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.